It is my favorite time of the day. Tea time with you, of course. I just got home from the dentist. I went to this new dentist who is hot. Oh my God, he's hot and gay. And I don't know if he's single or not, but anyways, I'm gonna manifest a date with him somehow. But hopefully he doesn't watch this because that would be embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I posted a video earlier today about Pee Wee Toms getting married, and yesterday's video was about Shane Dawson, Tana Mojo, Trisha Paytas, Elijah Daniel, and more. So I definitely wanted and have so much to talk about in the world of traditional celebrities. But before I get to all of that, I want to start off with a bit of somber, serious news. And then I'll lift us up to the scandal and the silliness. Nick Carter has revealed that his wife suffered a stillborn delivery. And I, I hope I phrased that correctly. I thought it was a miscarriage, but when it's this far along, um, it's, it's not a miscarriage. It's considered a, a baby that was born stillborn. It was, the baby was six months old. And Nick was supposed to perform with the Backstreet Boys in Lima, Peru, told fans that he wouldn't be able to make it on stage because he didn't know if he had it in him, ended up performing anyways. And I just want to send a lot of positive vibes to Nick and his wife. I am thinking of you guys. His wife, her name is um, Lauren. So Lauren and Nick, a big hug to you both. All right. On to the silliness. And I've just got two days left on my detox. I'm so happy I get to eat normal food soon. All right. Everybody was freaking out about Kendall Jenner's nude photos on a horse. I was like, can I even say that word? Twitter is even more restrictive than YouTube. At least YouTube, I can talk about, you know, sadly, if, if, if celebrity overdoses, I can talk about it and the video could still be monetized. On Twitter, I monetize videos too, but if I talk about celebrities doing something scandalous, they will demonetize those videos. Anywho, Kendall Jenner had these nude photos of her on a horse leak, leak, I don't know if anything really leaks. And it was trending all over the place. The photographer claims that the photos were stolen. Uh, the photographer is named Russell James. And I don't see what the big deal is. We've seen more than that from Kim Kardashian. And Kendall looks great. She's natural. She's at one with the horse. <laughs> Let you know that saying, the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. <laughs> I want Kris Jenner to be my manager. The world would not be ready for that. So yeah, big deal. Also, if you missed this from earlier in the week, Kanye West said that Kim Kardashian is in law school. He literally said law school but he did not mean it literally. So, no, Kim Kardashian is not in law school. Her publicist has confirmed that. In other news that was breaking and trending today, and this I think is dumb, according to an exclusive from The Hollywood Reporter, Henry Cavill is done playing Superman. No word on who will replace him. There was not another Man of Steel movie in the pipeline, but they were trying to secure a cameo with Cavill to appear in the upcoming Shazam film, but his team wanted too much money, allegedly, and weren't able to come to an agreement with Warner Brothers and DC Comics over the planned cameo. So, he's done. He's been playing Superman in a few movies since 2013. 
I think Noah Centineo would be a great new Superman. I could be a casting director, too. If you don't know who he is, he's been getting a lot of buzz this year. He was in the Fosters for several years. This year, he's appeared in a couple of Netflix movies. So, um, he's the new It Boy. Check him out. Uh, speaking of Henry Cavill getting fired, or quitting, or I think he was fired, really. Uh, speaking of Henry Cavill's departure from the Superman franchise... There are reports that somebody who is being considered to replace him is Michael B. Jordan. Oh my God, I would love that. I am so down with a black, black Batman, with a black Superman. Uh, and I love Michael B. Jordan. You know, he was one of the best parts of Black Panther. I'm so hungry right now, but the tea will do good. I don't. I feel like bad eating because I just got my teeth clean, cleaned, so I don't want to have coffee now, even though it's the time of the day where I have coffee, and I don't think I should eat, but maybe I'll eat when I'm done with this because screw it. Ah, that detox berry tea is so damn good. All right, in other news, <laughs> this is wacky. If you haven't heard, Paul McCartney reveals that back in the day, he and John Lennon used to flap it together. Uh, bonding, bros being bros, and on more than one occasion, I've got to start hanging out with straight dudes more. I had no idea this was a common occurrence. Or is it? Or is it just musicians, people in entertainment that behave that way? It's not even that common with gay guys, to be honest. I mean, it's common for gay guys to hook up and then be able to be friends afterwards. That happens a lot of time. But once you've established that you're friends with somebody, you don't really with your friends. At least I don't. Maybe there are some gays out there that do do that, but not me. Uh, I find that I found that uh, Paul, McCart Paul McCartney revelation very interesting. I want to ask Booker about that, my podcast co-host, if he's done that with any of his friends. Speaking of my co my podcast, my friends, my latest episode is out now. If you haven't listened to it, please do. I really think this is one of our, of our best ever. We talk about Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj, Serena Williams, and so much more. And he and I. Actually, we agree a lot this week, but you may disagree with us a lot. Listen to the Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on iTunes or directly at PerezPodcast.com. And as always, there will be a link to make it easy for you guys below in the description. And there will also be links to everything that I talk about. Back to the film world for a second. Jordan Peel is in talks to remake Candyman, one of my favorite horror films from the 90s. I loved it so much. I even saw it in the theaters. I remember growing up and watching horror movies. Like, my parents just did not care. It was a different time in the 80s. My parents would let me watch horror movies. My parents would let me watch naughty movies, like they were rated R that I should not have been watching. Like, I remember watching Revenge of the Nerds. Oh my god. Revenge of the Nerds was a hard R movie. I remember this pie thing and everything. And, oh. <sighs> so I'm excited for that. I love horror movies. I would love to be in more. I've been in a few horror films. I need to be in more. Onto the TV world. This is going to be complicated. Sharon Osbourne was caught by the paparazzi, and she said that she thinks more women will come forward with allegations against fired CBS CEO Les Moonves, who happens to be the husband of her The Talk co-host, Julie Chen. I said that as well. I believe that to be true. And one woman, a very... Uh, 
formerly powerful, but a very respected woman, Linda Bloodworth Thompson, who used to be the creator, executive, who was, who created and used to be the executive producer of Designing Women, a big hit on CBS, says that while Les Moonves did not sexually harass her, he was harassing towards her and was awful and how she heard about his awful behavior from an actress whom he stuck his tongue down the actress's mouth and just, it was really damning and incendiary. Incendiary, yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't see a way for Julie Chen to return to the view to the talk unless she says that she's separating and divorcing Les Moonves. I don't see a way. It just is she never gonna talk about a story of men being accused of wrongdoing, assault, Me Too, all of these things. They talk about that on the talk. Is Julie gonna excuse herself every time? I don't it's just very complicated. I don't even know if she'll be able to retain her job as host of Big Brother. It sucks. It's unfortunate that she will suffer for her awful husband's behavior. But also, the more women that have come forward, I think it should be clear and obvious to Julie that she needs to leave this man. No? Uh, an update on a couple of stories we spoke about earlier this week. Cardi B up apparently, has zero remorse for the fight that went down, or the altercation. It wasn't quite a fight. She threw her shoe and everything, though. Uh, Cardi B has zero remorse for that. Cardi B has learned nothing. Learned nothing out of this. That's unfortunate. As I mentioned, we talk a lot about Cardi B on the podcast. Another update, Ariana Grande's brother, Frankie Grande, has posted a very long and touching tribute to Mac Miller, revealing that it was Malcolm who actually got him into rehab and got him clean and sober from all of the drugs and alcohol that he was doing. The Grande family has been through a lot over the last two years, just sending them all of the positive vibes. Bow Wow, speaking of drugs and alcohol, the uh, reality TV star has revealed that he was seriously addicted to lean, aka scissor, and nearly died. You can read uh, what he wrote in the description down below. I'm hoping that little Wayne is off of that too. And you guys, if you're contemplating drugs or whatever, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even, if you're young, don't do it. Do what master do do self pleasure if you want to kill the time <laughs> do what Paul McCartney did. The cast of Dancing with the Stars was announced. A bunch of C listers. I'm a little bitter that they didn't ask me. Yes, I admit it. But you know, good on them. I'm sure Tanashi will win. She's a professional dancer. I've met with them three times. I did Celebrity Big Brother in the UK. Hello. I've done a show with Celebrity in the title. I am officially a celebrity. Even though I don't really consider myself one. So good luck to everybody. Blah, blah, blah. If you care. I'm sure you've heard who it is by now. In more reality TV news, Bachelor star Amanda Stanton was arrested for a misdemeanor domestic violence charge in Las Vegas after getting really drunk and allegedly shoving her boyfriend in front of a security guard who was called up to a room for a noise complaint. She thought she was being playful. The security guard didn't. The security guard called police. The, the boyfriend didn't want to press charges or do anything. Lesson learned when somebody in a position of power in Vegas tells you you're doing something wrong, stop immediately. Even if you're hella drunk or high, find that little bit of self-restraint that is in there and shut it down. Shut it down. In other news, oh my God, so much drama with Jeff Lewis. Do any of you guys watch Flipping Out? Well, if you haven't heard, he and his co-star, Jenny Pulos, Pulos, have had a falling out and to promote the new season of the show, he posted a photo, a publicity still, and X'd out her face. 
Eventually, he deleted that. Bravo was not happy about that. They canceled his appearance on Watch What Happens Live and canceled a lot of the press that he was supposed to do. Really? Over that? That seems lame. Why are you going to cancel him over that? I'm Team Jeff here. I mean, I don't really know all of the drama that happened. I think she made allegations against him that he... I don't even know. What the hell were the allegations? Mm. Oh, wow. She also apparently didn't work for him and hadn't worked for him for a, sh for a while. Oh, he's spilling all the tea. Mmm. God, this detox tea is so good. Maybe it's because I'm so hungry. It's like, I feel like it's food. All right, let's just move on. Stormy Daniels, remember her? The woman who is an adult film actress who had a one night stand with Donald Trump, nothing more than one night with him, is releasing a book next month called Full Disclosure. Get that money, good for you. Also, somebody posted a photo of Madonna flying coach and posted them posing in front of Madonna. Rude! Madonna was napping. Don't take people, people. Don't take photos of others while they're napping. That's rude, that's invasive, that's not cool, okay? Don't do that. Speaking of planes and airports, if you haven't heard, Wizards of Waverly Place star David Henry was arrested for bringing a loaded gun to the airport. We talk about that on the podcast. Booker thinks that he did this on purpose to get attention. I don't know if I'm buying that though. Uh, speaking of wacky, let's end things on this two stories. I'll end things on a positive note. <sighs> Samantha Markle, the sister of Meghan Markle, continues to just be awful, giving the British royal a nasty new nickname, calling her Dutch ass, amongst other things. I'm so exhausted by Samantha and her father. If you want to know exactly what she said, read it down below. But finally, let's end things on this positive note. Colton Haynes and his ex slash still husband, Jeff Lethem, are making it work. They are back together, at least for now, and I'm hoping it works out for them. And I thank you so much. Oh, you're amazing. You're so beautiful. You guys, I love you. You are loved. I hope you know that. Sincerely, I look at your comments. I like them. I respond. You mean so much to me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Share this. Subscribe. I post videos every day. Follow my personal channel. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. The links to everything will be down below. And keep smiling. Keep shining. Knowing you, I can always count on me. For sure. That's what friends are for in good times and bad times. I'll be on your side forevermore. Mwah.